I'm on my morning commute to work this morning. I thought I would uh, make a quick video about the humidity and heat. It's been ridiculous here in northern Illinois for the last couple of days. Um, I don't know what the humidity percentage is or anything of that nature, but it's it's so hot it just makes you sick to be outside. I mean, I'm driving to work. I got my air conditioner set on low in here. Check this out. I, I, my windshield is literally fogging up on the outside. And the back of my truck on the deck is condensation on the back. Isn't that amazing? I've been driving for like 10 miles now. So that should be dry. You know, theoretically. But it's just not. It's just so extremely humid and wet out today. That, uh... Oh yeah, somebody told me I'm not supposed to film myself while I'm driving, so I guess I better do it like this. So yeah, I thought I'd just uh, take a quick video today and talk about this a little bit on the way to work. This is the, the Route 30, this is a crazy road here. In the last couple of months there have been two major accidents on this road. There was uh, a car driving down the road the direction I'm going and another one came from the side here and did not stop at the stop sign and got blasted and people died and then like a week later the same exact thing happened. So you know I've been driving up and down Route 30 for a lot of years and uh, have never really seen anything like that. So I've been watching this pretty close. I don't know, are people getting dumber? They're forgetting how to drive or they're just not paying attention? I'll tell you what I noticed. There's an awful lot of people on cell phones or text messaging or messing with a camera <laughs> while they're driving down the road. Maybe that's why everybody's getting in a wreck. Anyways, maybe I better put this thing away so I don't get in a wreck. I just wanted to show you guys this humidity and how crazy this is here in northern Illinois. I mean, it's literally like walking out in soup. So, everybody stay cool, stay dry. Uh, try to take it easy as best you can the next couple of days. It's, it's going to be pretty wicked out there. Have a good day, guys. God bless. A little further down the road, and the humidity actually seems to be increasing. <laughs> Isn't that something? See how, you know, we got these fields out here. Fields and fields of beans and corn. You can see the tassels are coming up on the corn now. About in season here, stuff's getting ripe. Ready to pollinate. You see that? Fields and fields of corn. That helps to build our humidity out here. It makes it pretty wild. For you guys that don't live in the corn belt, you would understand. I mean, it's literally life or death. You try to walk through one of these cornfields in this kind of heat and make it to the other side, I mean, you're right in your own death sentence there. It's literally stifling hot in there. Nothing like it though. You know, every time I leave the area and leave the state and come back home, I see the cornfields and I know I'm home. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get one more.